Well, parents are trying to figure out will they send their children back to school in the fall? And because these COVID-19 numbers are well, part of the equation and seem to be on the rise, a lot of folks just aren't clear what's going to happen. But now there's an option for parents and students in Greenville County. Fox Carolina's Jennifer Phillips outside the district office with more on that option. Administrators with the district are offering a free full time virtual program for students K five through the 12th grade. Now, parents, if you're interested and you want your child to participate in this program, you have to fill out an application by a deadline, and that's because administrators need to know how many teachers they will need for the program. Christy Reed has three children. One is a junior at Eastside High School in Greenville County. It has been hard for all of us. It they were troopers as far as getting their work done. COVID-19 pushed students out of the classroom and onto e-learning. And now administrators with the Greenville County School District are offering a full-time virtual program as an option for the fall. I think I keep hoping we'll see the numbers down. Tim Waller is the media relations director with the district. Think regular in-person classes, but not in person. He says the virtual program is different from e-learning that took place during the spring. We will be able to assess a student's progress. Grading will become more strict and stringent under this new program. He says there will be live instruction from teachers at a set time each day. And classes will be recorded too. We're going to have teachers who are entirely dedicated toward uh, in-person classes. Another group of teachers will spend all of their time with virtual classes. But to hold a student's cyber seat, parents have to fill out this application for the virtual program by July 27th. If virtual classes or if in-person classes under the circumstances aren't working out for your child and you want to go to the other, we'll try to get you in but it may take a while. And Christy Reed appreciates the option. And I think at this point, we'd like to be able to see our kids at school with their friends and, and learning in person from their teachers. The program is not offered to K-4 students because of their curriculum, but we're also told those hot spots will still be available in those areas where there is no Wi-Fi. Again, that deadline, July 27th. Jennifer Phillips, Fox Carolina News.